The eruption which started in the 29th of the May 2024 and then finished in the June 22, 2024 it started like this from a fissure in the ground lava oozed out it's uh, extended to the K1 uh, crater it grew to a huge size you can compare it with the people and the cars in this image my estimate was 55 meter and the amount of the lava it is spread was more than anything that that we have seen in that area you can see here is a flooding of the lava happening in the lava pool that formed there it created also phreatic eruptions in the earliest stage of it through a big crack i have not seen such a crack for a long time in the Iceland and this is one of those ones and as you can see in this map the area it covered was huge compared to previous eruptions 9.3 uh, square kilometers uh, the outline of it was interesting it looks somehow like a that alien creature in the alien movie giving birth to something holding his hand back falling on the ground and then something coming out of his mouth <laughs> anyway the land rise is continuing that shows the magma accumulation on the sourcing volcanic system is actually reaching the speed that it had in the previous cases after a downfall now it is rising again the amount of the magma erupted uh, in this uh, eruption was 45 uh, million cubic meters which is equal to 135 megatons density of the basalt is almost three so multiply it by that get it in tone and the area covered compared to Fagadesvi was huge look at that uh, to the right you can see the figure that's where outline and of the market for you can see it and to the center and slightly to the left that's the new area sword sangi and yeah here sword sangi and figure that's feel definitely bigger even for this eruption it was bigger but we have five eruptions in that area they have added to each other they have shaped a new landscape for us and the next one will be happening hopefully on this one not anywhere else we are prepared in that area this is the latest update by the icelandic meteorological office i have covered whatever it was in this uh, and also more so you know what has happened icelandic meteorological office provided the, uh, the maps and the uh, data and i'm just uh, around it interpreting it for you making it more accessible and make it in a short video possible for you to watch